Bring me to HB 1705 FNA. Allowing the purchase and use of marijuana by adults. Regulating the purchase and use of marijuana. Imposing taxes on the wholesale and retail sale of marijuana. Um, however, my name is Kurt McNeil. I am the Executive Director of the Hampshire Common Sense. We do advocate for sensible reform of drug policies here in New Hampshire. Um, I will be very brief in this regard. This particular bill regulates marijuana as a substance in a very similar fashion to the way that we currently regulate alcohol and cigarettes. If the state of New Hampshire and the representatives on this committee believe that we have the right, the need, and the reason to regulate the purchase of cigarettes, or to regulate the purchase of tobacco in general, to regulate the purchase of alcohol, particularly liquor that we sell in our state liquor stores, then it confuses me that we wouldn't consider a law that would allow us to regulate and tax the distribution and sale of small amounts of marijuana, as this bill does. I am, I think amused is the right word. When I listen to the arguments of law enforcement, they, they seem to have a feeling that we don't realize the drug war is a dramatic failure. It doesn't work. One of the reasons that the THC content of marijuana is much higher than it used to be is the same as the reason why America went from being a beer drinking nation before Prohibition to being a liquor drinking nation <coughs> afterwards. It's easier to move more potent things in smaller packages. If you want to control the use of marijuana, you regulate it and tax it. To prohibit it puts its use and distribution in the hands of people who you consider to be criminals and they don't listen to your laws anyway. Thank you very much. Any questions for this witness?